Hiya, it's Sunday the 24th of January 2021. Uh, I'm out here in Spain on the Orwell in Costa, look at the sun, beautiful. Uh, I'm going to do this video blog, but I'm going to have to read it because I've written what I want to say. So I'm going to keep going like that, so it doesn't matter. First of all, hello from sunny Spain. Uh, it looks like the cold spell's finally gone. Uh, warm weather's back, as you can see, the sun's come out to play. Um, so we can turn the heating off, we can afford to eat today because the electricity is so expensive down here, it really is. Um, went round to my daughter Karen's house earlier today uh, just for a cup of tea and then I get, I want to come to yours house from my little granddaughter Susie. So we brought her back for the day, she only wants to come here I'm sure to play on the iPad without any interruptions from her two big brothers. Uh, football. As usual, got to talk about a little bit of football. Chelsea v Luton today in the FA Cup. Uh, what was I going to say? It's it should be a no contest really. Chelsea should win that game easily, but we don't know if it goes tits up. Frank's going to come in from some heavy criticism again. I mean, I personally think Frank shouldn't have took the job. I think it's too early for him. But as long as he's in that manager's job, he gets my full support. He's a legend at Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea, we call him Sir Frank. I mean, he scored, how many goals did he score? 211 goals from midfield. He's got to be the greatest homegrown midfield player to grace the Premier League up to now, in my opinion. And I think supporters from other clubs would probably agree with that as well. Except Liverpool, maybe, because they've got the Steve Gerrard. Um, I'm hearing from so many people, both in Spain and the UK now, that um, they know or know someone or know someone who knows someone that's had COVID or got COVID. And um, I think we've got a long way to go before it's over. I still find it emotionally hurtful that people are saying it's a conspiracy or it's just the flu. For fuck's sakes, get alive. Go speak to these people that have lost their mum or their dad or their brother or their sister. Some of these countries, especially like Spain, who's relatively poor, would, would um, risk their economy by putting all the restrictions on people. I don't think so. I really don't. I give up now. I don't read. I don't read their posts. I don't read their posts on social, social media because I believe they're all fools that are, that are coming out with this crap. I don't care what they have to say anymore, so I don't read it. But I do read the news, I do watch the news reels on Sky and BBC and the people that are suffering in hospital still. Well, that's really all I've got to say apart from saying there is some good news coming on the news. Um, and as much as I blame China for all this COVID shit, and I really do blame China, um, it was good news to see that um, there's 11 men being rescued from a collapsed mine in China. There was 22 men trapped underground. It's been a fortnight now and they've managed to get 11 of them out so far which is fantastic. One man, one miner has unfortunately died and so there's 10 still missing so please God they get the other 10 out. Well I'm, I think I'm finished. Thanks for watching and uh, for all my Blues fans out there, my fellow Blues fans, keep on keeping that blue flag high. Thanks guys.